This conference will now be recorded. All right, so let's jump into the Support Center. So the Support Center lives inside of GoToConnect, obviously. I have my Agent tab here. So if you're an agent, this is the tab you'll see, and this is the information we'll have available. Um, if you're not familiar with GoToConnect, I would definitely recommend reviewing the GoToConnect information, um, as some of this might not make as much sense. Um, and again, because it's inside of GoToConnect, it will work inside of the GoToConnect application, where it, whether it's native on Mac or PC, or pulled up in Chrome, as you can see here. So an agent will have this view. Uh, when they come in for work, they, they can look at some information when they sit down and get ready for today. So we can see, you know, how many callers are on hold, uh, you know, how busy is it looking like my day is going to be, what are my coworkers doing, so who's talking, who's wrapping up a call, you know, who's paused. And then I have some information about today's activity. So again, you know, how busy has it been today compared to yesterday, right, or the same day last week? You know, how many calls have we taken, how many, you know, inbound or outbound calls, and then that same information just over the week. So I can see, you know, how has this week been? How many calls have we taken, you know, Monday versus today? You can see I am assigned to two queues. So I'm assigned to reception and SMB support. I will mark myself ready for calls in both of those queues simultaneously. And again, you can mark yourself ready for calls in however many queues you've been assigned to. So oftentimes we'll see customers have, you know, 5, 10, 15, you know, maybe even 20 queues to achieve a more complex call routing and call distribution. I can also pause myself simultaneously in all those queues. So when I hit pause, I'm no longer receiving calls. Calls will skip over me and go to other available agents. Um, and then when I you know, get done with my break or get done with my lunch, I can come back and mark myself ready for calls again. I'm gonna get on my cell phone right now and I'm gonna give myself a call. One thing to mention, you can see here that the, the queue that this call is coming from is listed. So I can tell immediately it's an SMB support call and I can answer this call in the manner that I'm supposed to based on uh, you know, the, the support calls. Um, I have full call control here as well. So I can add somebody into this call. Perhaps I'm talking to this customer and it's, you know, they're getting very frustrated. They're getting very angry. You know, I'm, I might come over here and I might Slack or I might chat rather. Michael Scott, my boss, and say, you know, can you take an escalation? Um, or I might just pull them in and make it a three-way call. So I might just pull Mike in, call him into this, make it a three-way call, you know, or perhaps transfer the call to, to Mike. So I'll come over here, type in Michael's name, transfer the call to him, and I can do direct transfer. I can do a warm transfer, and I can send this call directly to voicemail. I'll jump back over to the, the support center view. Um, and I'm actually going to flip over to the supervisor tab now. Uh, so I have another a soft phone pulled up. This is go to connect in, in my desktop application for Mac. Um, and I'm, I have this pulled up to show you the supervisor view. So I have the supervisor tab and I have an administrator tab. This user is both a supervisor and an administrator. Uh, what, what the supervisor will see is some real time information. So I have an overview here. And this overview is going to include data from both of the queues that I manage. And it would include data from all the queues that I manage, however many that may be. So across all those queues, how many calls are waiting? How many are in progress? What is the longest duration so far of a call? Longest wait time? And then daily totals. So what are we trending for? Abandoned, timed out, handled. Um, perhaps I can see that our abandoned percentage is 33%. And based on the performance that I expect, that's maybe too high. Um, so I want to kind of figure out what exactly is going on, um, where that's going. So I might, I might see which queue has, you know, the most callers waiting or the longest wait time. Um, and based on that, I would click on that specific queue and now I can see what's going on and, and what the culprit may be for my, my average wait time. So I've clicked on the queue in question that I think might, might be the cause for our abandonment percentage being 33%. And now I can see a breakdown of agent statuses. So perhaps there's too many agents on pause. You know, we're not staggering lunches. You know, three people went to lunch at once and our call center simply can't handle that. Whatever that may be, I can see a breakdown of all those agent statuses here. Again, as well as, you know, the totals for this queue specifically now. So maybe this queue rather than 33%, you know, perhaps it was up at, you know, 50%. And the other queue is more, you know, trending towards 10%, which is, you know, normal. I can also see callers on hold in this queue. So I can, I can see a list of everybody that's waiting to be answered. 
And then over here, I have agent activity. So I can see I have Aaron on a call, um, obviously in the support queue. It is a queue call, so it's not an inbound call or an outbound call. And maybe Aaron's a newer cust a, a newer agent for me, and I, I want to start monitoring his calls. I want to make sure he's you know touching on everything he's supposed to, and he's he's hitting his talk track properly. So I will click these three dots, and I'll select listen. And this is going to allow me to listen in real time and just sort of hear the conversation. I'm a fly on the wall. Aaron doesn't know I'm there. The customer doesn't know I'm there. I'm just listening and monitoring the situation. Um, perhaps the customer is getting heated um, or I see an opportunity for a sale that Aaron just isn't seeing. So I might whisper and th this allows me to speak to Aaron directly without the customer hearing. So I can explain, hey, Aaron, you know, they're mentioning that they're having pains with this. Our certain product is really going to help them out. I would, I would bring it up and see if that's going to be beneficial, you know, and then maybe Aaron tries that and he's not doing so good. Um, you know, he's newer, he's getting flustered, whatever that might be. So in that case, I might flip over to Barge. And then, then now I'm able to talk to the customer and Aaron simultaneously and just sort of take control of the call. I mentioned, hey, so, you know, Aaron pulled me in, mentioned that you're having problems with X, Y, and Z. You know, have you heard of what we're doing over here? That can help you with that. Perfect, so I'll hang up the call. That is the support center. Um, there's also the, the contact center admin tab, and this is really just providing your supervisors the ability to administrate uh, without having PBX admin rights. So it's quite common that a uh, supervisor will be responsible for managing queue assignments and managing the call center, determining which agents are receiving which calls. Um, but it's not common that that person would also be a full system administrator. You know, that is, uh, those are the keys to the kingdom, as it were. So companies are pretty restrictive with that. Our solution in this case is to allow someone contact center configuration rights. So I, as an admin, I can assign agents to queues. I can select my reception queue and I can assign supervisors to this queue. I can say Kelly's a supervisor. I'll click assign. And you know, I'm gonna add Stanley today and I'm gonna add Todd Packer uh, because our reception queue has been getting overloaded. So I need a few more agents in here. So I can control queue assignments. Those agents are now assigned to these queues. If I didn't have enough con uh, support center licenses, um, adding these agents to this queue will also generate more licenses based on the price I had agreed upon when I, when I signed the quote. Perfect, so that is the support center in a high level overview. Thank you.